Welcome to Web Indexing. Today we're going to learn how to do review in the new Web Indexing program. So let me start by showing you how to actually find a batch to do peer review. If we click on Find Batches from the Web Indexing screen, you'll notice this box over here labeled Activity and it defaults to indexing. That means if you select Start on any one of these projects, you're actually going to open an indexing batch. If you click this and open it, you won't see as many choices as I have here, but look for indexing review dash peer. So that's our peer review. If I select that, and I'm going to change some of my choices here so I can find the projects that I'm looking for. And I want to find the Pennsylvania draft card one since I enjoy those. And so I would click start and it would take me in. I actually have one already open, so I'm going to come out here and open this. So let me just point out that on the web indexing page, you'll notice these little icons. This is the indication that this is a review batch. This icon indicates this is an indexing batch. So let's go ahead and open this batch. And we'll go through this and learn how to do some review. So the steps are the same between indexing and review as far as you first identify the images if they should be indexed or not and then you'll go through and review all of the records on each image and then when you're done you'll submit the batch. Just a quick review that you can open field help, you can move this around, you can resize it. It's very very important especially as a reviewer that you know that you study these field helps for every single field and that you follow these. That's really important and that's the key to your job is to make sure that the indexing followed the instructions. You can click up here to open the project instructions. Same way you can move this window around and you can resize it. You should be familiar from your indexing that you can come here and see examples of the images that you should index and sometimes there's examples of things not to index. This project is fairly easy so there's not a lot of variety in the different images you might see. So we're going to click through these. If for some reason there was a duplicate image or something was very blurry, you couldn't read it, or there was um, some other reason that you wouldn't index this, you could select you know, no extractable data. And if you try that, it's going to tell you, hey, there were records here. If you change this, you're going to lose those, and we don't want to do that. So we're just going to go through these, and you'll see that all of these are indexable. Down here in the image gallery, you can see I have uh, 10 images, so I'm going to step through these one at a time. Now, if I want to just jump, if I assume these are all good and I can see from the thumbnails, I could actually switch right here to go directly to step two, which is records, come back to image one, or I can continue progressing through these one at a time. So just a few different ways you can run a shortcut or you can take the long way. I'll go through each one of these. Make sure you give the screen a second to refresh the image. Sometimes when you change images it will stay on that image for just a second and then it will refresh. You want to make sure that it did actually change to the next image. So when I hit next on my last image then I get my list of records. Okay, so I can go through now here, and again, I can open my field help. And I go through this, and I'm going to verify every field as I go through. I want to look at each one of those. And if you want, you can highlight the field and tab through them. Remember, if a field is marked blank, when you tab to it, it doesn't show any data, but when you tab away, it returns the word blank there. So it's a good idea if you tab through the field so you are reminded where you're at and don't lose your place. Now, uh, just for an example, I'm going to assume that this person um, spelled Pennsylvania wrong. And I'm going to just change it to something so it shows I've changed it. You'll notice that this arrow, this icon, now appears. That's my indication that I've changed the value in this field and if I would like to return it to what the indexer had done I can simply click here to restore the original value 
And let me show you one more thing. Under settings, there's this confirmation dialogs. Show the revert to original text dialog. This is on by default. So the way this works is if I were to change this, and now I want to go back, it's going to pop up this window the first time I try to revert something, and it will force me to confirm I want to do that. Once I've seen this, I know what I'm doing. I don't need to see this every time. It'll save me a keystroke or a click if I just say, don't show this again. And now I can continue on. So now I can go through, I can tab through these, and if I've changed anything, then you'll see those things that I did change. So what you're going to do is you're going to go through. Uh, if they missed a record, then you can add records here. The, this project has only one record per image, so you can just go to the next image. And again, you're going to go through field by field, and it's very important that you take the time to study these. It might be tempting to just glance through and not be detail-oriented, but really it's your job as a reviewer to pay attention to the detail and make sure that this indexer did this right. So I would progress through all of these images. I want to look at every single field. So again, I can tab through each one. It helps me know where I'm at. And you have to at least look at every single image or else it's going to warn you that uh, you have to go back and look at them. We don't want people skipping images. It's hard enough to convince people to be detail-oriented, uh, but the least we can do is make sure they at least look at each of the, the images in the batch. So other than that, you're going to go through this, and you're going to go through the submission process. When you're done reviewing, you'll submit it, very similar to indexing, and that is how you do review.